Hello and welcome back to my channel, Women of a Certain Age, where I'm trying to stay young through using everything at our disposal, whether it's makeup, procedures, uh, wigs, potions, sleight of hand, whatever it takes. There was a kitten that just went by. <laughs> welcome to my channel. I'm not going to be doing cap construction and measurements and everything like that. There are so many people out there, so many wonderful creators out there that do that kind of thing. That's not me. I'm just going to tell you if it felt good, if I felt good, if it was realistic, if I felt confident. Those are the things that I'm going to tell you. Um, I will tell you I have a really big head. And then through the magic of film editing and YouTube, it's going to be three months later and these kittens are going to be older and this wig will be older. <laughs> so I will be able to tell you how it felt on my head, whether it was hot, whether it was comfortable, how I felt in it emotionally. Did I feel pretty? Did I feel secure? Did it feel realistic? What were other people's reactions? Was it realistic enough that I felt like other people would think it was my hair? That's the stuff, honestly, that I care about. And I think a lot of you do too. So, um, here we go. Wow, it's really blonde, huh? I don't even know. See, it's all, it's got the zigzag part. So that's how new this is for me. Oh my gosh. Wow. She's long. This is like Barbie hair. Wow. And honestly, the color is very close to what my hair color was. I, I, that's why I'm kind of standing here in front of you. Uh, in shock. I, I feel like other than gravity taking its toll uh, and maybe 50 extra pounds, uh, I'm looking at myself. It's like kind of a time machine. Let's look at this lace front. Uh, again, I haven't brushed it out. This is a little, I think this is a little, I might trim that, I might trim that back. It might trim it. That would be very careful trimming because it's very, very close to the hairs. Here's the scalp. I have not parted it. I will part it. And when I do my three month update for you, this will be parted. Um, it'll be brushed out. It'll be, have been worn. Um, this is, I'm just standing here. I'm sorry, I'm just kind of standing here with my mouth open because this is absolutely gorgeous. Listen, what you're hearing is my cat, my kittens, kittens on playing with each other on uh, their cat tray because I, this is not a studio. This is like the den where everything in chaos happens. So it's my real life. Oh, anyway. Now that I got over my initial shock, I might have to t I might have to spend some time and and do this part by myself. Um, wow. Well, let me spin. Let me spin for you. Again, this isn't brushed out. Could you see that? This is, my, this is my hair. This was my hair back in, in the 80s. Uh, um, wow. All right. I just have to say, first of all, this is as much hair as you see here. This is very, very lightweight. Um, I, I'm surprised it feels so light for how much hair this is, but... I just cannot get over the color of this hair. Golden russet. 
This is, I've never owned a wig in golden russet. I mean, just look at those highlights. They are amazing. The way they, do, the way Raquel Welch, again, this is golden russet. The way she did, and, and you can see it gets darker through the back, but not really. I mean, they are just such artists there. This is, the color is just, you know what's so flattering about this color is it's blonde, but it's not too blonde. When you go to a medium depth color, such as this, it's like a richer, more, it's not dark, but it's not really, really light. Um, I find when I'm looking at other people, it's much more flattering and it makes them look younger. This is a glamorous, old Hollywood kind of hair, which is always what I've went for. Um, this is, this is absolutely stunning. But here's my question, because it's a, because it's how I wore my hair when I was in my 20s, is this too long for me? Or do we subscribe to those limitations? I wonder if this wig's too long for me. Nope, I want to wear it. I know so many women that when they get older, they, they cut all their hair off. And I know a lot of people do it because their hair is thinning. Um, but we just wear wigs, don't we? And then some do it, I don't know what it is. It's like they feel like if their mothers or grandmothers are older now, they're, they're not sexy or pretty or, uh, you know, I, I don't know what it is, but there is something behind that. Maybe you can describe it better than I can. It's almost like they feel like they're not allowed to be that sexy, glamorous uh, woman anymore. And that's just not true. Mm -mm. Not anymore. We, we're lucky right now as women to be living in an age where um, all sizes, shapes, ages, nationalities, everything is becoming beautiful and embraced. And um, that wasn't always the case, but I think it's changing. And I think we have to change with that. So I always think, wear what makes you feel good. Wear what makes you feel pretty. And throw out the conventions. Throw out, uh, you're too old, you're too fat, you're too this, you're too that. Um, if it makes you feel good inside, isn't that really what matters? So, is this wig too long for me? No, I'm going to wear it. So was this hot? Was it comfortable? Did it feel realistic? Did it look realistic to other people? Uh, through the magic of YouTube, it's going to be three months later and you're going to find out. Through the power of YouTube and film editing, I am coming to you with the update on Limelight in Golden Russet by Raquel Welch. I cannot tell you how much I love this wig. I have, this is my date night wig. This is my romantic, feel pretty wig. Um, I wore it on a few dates with my husband. I felt so, so pretty and so glamorous in this wig. It is so comfortable. It, it's a lot of hair, but it doesn't feel like a lot of hair. It's not heavy on the head. Um, it's not hot. Like I have, um, another beautiful wig, uh, blaze by Aesthetica and it's absolutely gorgeous and has, you know, all of the curls and the waves and a lot of hair and it is hot. 
Um, this is not hot at all. Uh, it's, I, the color is just a completely lights up your face. Um, it's, it, the highlights around your face brighten, lift it. Uh, it's very youthening. Uh, oh, one thing, thing I, <laughs> <laughs> wore it on a wore it on a date with my husband, and um, the tag to this you could was sticking out, and um, so I cut that out. So I cut the tags out because we don't want anybody seeing our tags. The open wefting in this wig I think helps keep it cool. Um, I, I could wear this on a summer evening. Uh, it could be put up too. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, so comfortable. Did people think it was a wig? Absolutely not. Um, I had people looking at my hair, complimenting my hair and saying, Oh my God, your hair is beautiful. They didn't know it wasn't my hair, but they just were so stunned at how pretty my hair was. Um, and it, it really is, my hair really is pretty. <laughs> I mean, oh my gosh. And it's so silky smooth. It feels like your hair. If somebody touched this, they wouldn't know it was a wig. They'd be like, hmm, she has maybe product in there or something, some hairspray. But, um, oh, it's so versatile. I mean, you can do so much with this. Um, I just leave it alone because I'm not very good at styling things, which is why I love it. Listen, if I was to get my hair back tomorrow or next year or whatever, my hair grew back by some miracle. Um, I still would wear some wigs, uh, because they're just colors and styles that I could never do on my own and never achieve on my own. My hair would never be able to do it. Um, even if my hair could do it, I couldn't do it. And, uh, it just, you know, in three minutes I have a, I just put this thing on my head and it's, I've been to a salon. So, uh, and this would be one of the wigs I would wear for sure. Another absolutely stunning drop dead gorgeous wig by Raquel Welch. This is becoming a favorite. I would buy this again and again and again in the same color, other colors. Uh, it's just, I can, just, if this is the kind of wig you like, the kind of look you like, oh, you're going to be so happy with this wig. And look at that part. <laughs> it's so realistic. Limelight wig by Raquel Welch. Absolutely a, a buy again wig for me. And uh, I just, probably one of my favorites for that I've gotten. Absolutely. Just, I'm in love with it. So thank you for joining me. And remember, shine your light because the world needs it. Bye.